Hey everyone. I know I've not been playing Quen in quite a while, but thanks to mobile and the Tuni, the system that has been introduced, I actually have been playing a bit lately. And so I thought since I'm playing Quen again, I'm kind of like made it back to the higher ranks. Uh, it's time to make some videos again. So I started with the most P deck right now, the hidden cash deck, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay as much as I enjoyed it. So uh, hope you have fun, let's go. Mirror. See He's playing stylish with the extra I can appreciate that. Got, got the poison. So I guess this game is all about who can poison the enemy carries while keeping his carries alive. Philip could be an MVP. I think. Though, the question when do we do Philip, right? I mean, Philippa, we want to steal a Sol, we want to steal like a Peach, one of the Peaches probably. When do we use it? Do we use it in round one? If you can get ahead of it, I guess, yes. He has a bit the upper hand of the four coins in this case, because he can steal my stuff easier than his, but then I go to pass, I guess. And a mirror, you don't want to play him too. Wow, he goes crazy right now. I mean, this is good. So this tells me that he's not going. We don't. We are not going crazy in round one. The only thing we do here, actually, just playing bronzes here. We're playing bronzes. We try to keep some coins as carry over. If he goes crazy now. We have a job it later. In the worst case, we go Pozzoli on him. Yeah, that's good. You do not deserve to live. Oh, you can still sit back, I guess. Do we care, though? I mean, it's three points, right? If we steal a Peach later, that's even better. However, this is carry over value. Yeah. I guess. I have no mercy for your kind. Yes, I want it back. Can neutral play? So Philippa's out now. Which means who has a Javed is pretty safe. A pretty safe carry. Sure. Do we go for Peaches now? Just because? Well, we have more of them in the deck, so I guess. Makes a bit of a... Applies a bit of pressure, I guess. For Mr. Mad Mike Pity. Don't... So the good thing is, like, we can keep Azuri now. He can't play Passive Flora Unprotected. There's a Sol, which is going to be poisoned immediately, or we can't because it's protected. That makes a lot of sense. We could kill the Kiki more, we could kill... So what? how much do we have? We had 5, we could kill both and then we the poisons open. But then it means we can't really counter his... Peaches later. And Saul is down now. Don't really need to kill it later. It's actually good to kill his able later as well. What to do? I mean, why not just pass, right? There's no sense in playing this round. He will win it for sure. If you go into a long and free, it will be fine. We have the gold still. We still have to carry over. We have our Redanium back. I think we're in a good spot. Like it's not not bad. There's Azar. Perfect. Mr. Javet. Well, what do you do with the poison cards? 
God. I don't want to mull again for the horde. Just play this. No strings attached. Can still be ahead. And let's see if it passes or if he wants to go. Don't think he wants to go. Oh, he goes. Oh, he goes. So this is the place where I think we go for Bastodi, right? I mean, he will kill our Bozodi, right? So that's kind of not good as well. If we have it now, we have a protected passive floor, which we maybe find. Or maybe not. Challenge. So just go full extraction here. And then at some point we kind of want to go for soul. I need to get, need to get a fist stick out for Aridanian to come out. Kill this with the money. There's not a lot from the Fussy Floor that will survive. I mean, he's a shit ton of coins there. If he can find us a Walla with Luisa, that would be amazing. Also, oh, passive floor would be really good here. I mean, we can if we keep to be banked, then we have very secure and next round. Okay, that's fine. I guess we just go for the coins, right? Maybe two coins of carryover, which is good. Okay, I think we're not a bad spot. He's a bit more carryover than we do, but we have passive floor left. We have Javed left. Now that he plays Bumpy, rare, right? but he could play Posody as well. Yeah, Savala. Hey, we don't go for Poison now. Good, 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 good. So four goods versus two bads. Let's take the risk. Well, nothing to be changed here. Let's get him out, because also Saul will be there. So we're going probably go for... We, go, we probably go Passiflora. I mean, there's a chance that we don't get it, right? But... If we don't get it, we get the Peaches. Pretty sure about that. So... I guess we go Rivali, hopefully, into Passiflora. Into Adriana. It already depends on the Vivaldi bank, right? If we, I mean, we get like Passiflora for sure. But like, if Vivaldi, if Passiflora is at the bottom, we have a problem because then we are not going to get the tribute for Adriana. Three ounces of optimum nature, a drop of solution. Don't think he plays bomb people though. So, and he uses a lot of coins for that. So, I guess I'm fine. Let's look for Passiflora. Oh, it's the first. Oh my god, this is perfect. You don't need to play in front right now. 
Jazz Meridian. Pew pew. Let's go. Oh, actually, I actually lose points now with Adriano. Uh, Adriano. Anyway. Go Adriano for the Bonded Seductress. Then we go for Saul. At some point, we're going to use the Sea Jackal to get some of the coins out. And we finish off with Savola. Louisa into Savola. I guess it's a good game plan. <clears throat> Let's see if he evolves. He evolves. No, he peaches, okay. I mean, good for me, I guess. Any diamonds for little me? Let's get the uh, seductresses out then. <laughs> we share the profits, not the word. There you go. Uh, yeah, I guess. That's the turn. Next is Saul. Then we play Lisa. For the, for the big soul, I guess. I'm going to lose an, uh, a coin here, but hey. Kicking my is pretty good against for the green. Uh, but we have a lot of carries here. Like we have two engines with seductresses, a peach, soul, or peaches? It's the, it's the singular form. Get the coins from the Passiflora. If the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. I guess. As I said, we're losing our coins, but uh, okay, there we go. Waiting for the full Passiflora. Nice, got a big soul. Question is how how much poison does he has? He hasn't played morale yet. He'll play a Waller for sure as well. Pay in advance, young man. No exceptions. Sure. Let's bleed stuff. Let's play Kalkstein because he can purify it. Not that he would like to. Okay. So if he has poison, he would. I think he would need to start soonish. I mean, just hope he doesn't have him around there. That's like a big hope here. This is why I play. I don't play a lot of goals in round one in the mirror. Okay, he starts with poison now. I got don't have a cock stand though. <laughs> We need to play C Shackle now because of all. How much? I mean, not that it matters. Can only kill one, I think, so I guess we're fine. So one will be another poison and the other one will be a Savola. Why does he play this now? He loses a coin here. Right, right, right. Okay, and let's see uh, how big each of us can go now. Free, free, that's fun. You will not stand in the way of my master's plans. I won't let you. That's actually fine. We even get the one point from the possibly from the peaches now. So he plays a Savala as well. He gets another three points from the Kikimor. He also has a Sea Chuckle with six points. Oh, I love this job. oh yeah, I got like two ticks from my Zactresses, which is pretty decent. I guess I have this. This is not enough, my friend. It was a good idea to stole back to. Really, I think you like that. Nice. Wow, okay, I haven't seen the a Channel Fire in a while. But at least he plays it very thematically, so that's cool. 
congregate. Okay, um, so it's all about swarming, I guess. Don't need the Redanian. She should come out of the deck when we want her to do that. We have a bit of horde stuff here. Not a lot of poison. So the question is if we just get rid of the poison and go into the horde seductress gameplay. Yeah. Let's see. Let us see. Of course, he plays with Tiger's Eye. And he wants him to spawn even more of his seal that's on the board. Question is how do we start? Do we just go and start with, uh, with the peaches? I mean, he probably runs some poisons too. I really don't know the deck though. I'm pretty new back equipped, so to say. <laughs> I mean, I guess we kind of want to get rid of this, but like, just doesn't make sense at all because it's. It doesn't make sense to waste poison on this. I guess we go for the cash. We go for Saul. Go for the six. I mean, if he goes for poison, then. Instead of the peaches first. So if he actually goes for some poison and he wants to play it now, then at least they get it and not Saul. And then let's go Saul after that. I think he's just going to swarm. And we just need to get the points on the board, actually. So let's do that. Let's get some points on the board. If this gets too big, which I don't believe, you could always poison. I don't think. No. Let's see what it does. If he poisons me, you also have like the cockstand. I guess cutter black is. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they are pretty cool, especially if you get even more of them on the board. So I kind of want to get rid of them. Again, poison doesn't feel like the best option for this. We can't go as a Dactress, otherwise the horde won't trigger anymore. We don't want to spend Luisa on this. I mean, this is two points. I don't want to remove it, so let's just get the hordes out. Let's improve our deck for later. And currently we still ahead, even though those will do some damage, I guess. The luckies. That makes sense, I guess. I guess we go for the Redanian now. Because that's what the street urchins here for. Give me free profit, get the flying Redanian out of our deck. Or we start to poison now. I mean, this is a 5 point play plus the fee. If we start poisoning now, because I think that's what he wants, I think he wants to go out of the round. Let me just take it. If I mean, we could also take it just by playing two urchins, right? I guess this is a 5 point play, and we're 22, and we still have the coins left. Let's not waste morale, I guess. I should have used it by one, by the way. Anyway. Anyway. So he's actually going for a long round. Must have gotten more insane tips. I mean, that's also a good poison target, right? But his insanity. Oh, it's just for the two armor. I kind of don't want to destroy this. kind of want to destroy this. Because it's a spender. I mean... And this can grow, this can actually kill itself, so, so to say. In my trade, Let's go morale onto him. Artist. So we get one... Two, so we could currently we get two points if we use this. So we had uh, 43, 44. We used three coins, we actually get ahead. So, I sacrificed kind of like the, the one point per turn for Saul for the option to stay ahead here. And now I can, like if he would have passed, we wouldn't have gotten a card up. Now he kind of needs to play some cards and the poison will go off, except he plays Cox then. Okay, never mind. I'll actually just get the card up. 
I like it. So against Congregate, I guess we want to push. Because I think he wants to have a long turn. Just for the swarming aspect, even if he plays something different. Question is when do we play Pussyflora? Because if he start off now, then he's going to swarm as well. We have enough blind eyes, but we don't have really we don't really have a spender here. We could look for a spender with the bank. Uh, do we go hard on him right now? And when do we use a Pussyflora? Kind of like, we kind of keep Madame Luisa and Savola maybe for the next turn. Just start with the... Let's go Pussyflora here. I would say. This I was actually bad for the protection of the Pussyflora. We never know if he plays Bomb Heaver or not, so... Okay, so this would be a poison target if it would have poison. I think we're going for Ming. We keep this one, and then we play the Peaches. Yeah. This can go out of hand, so... Yeah, this will keep us one for the port. And I think now is the point where we're going to look for maybe something that can kill this. Evolve to something. Yeah, it goes full all in now. That one, he venerates not the fire! Do we do, what do we do with the coin, by the way? Like, we, if we get, if we do this now, we get a ton of coin, but we don't have spender. And this will give me free coins as well, so I kinda, we kinda have too much coins here. I mean, Vivaldi Bank will get me the evil pretty quickly. But if we get it now, I can only get four cards. Four cards is risky, like, four cards probably won't be able, they, they can even kill it, so. It's actually. Oh, never mind. Now I can't even play the evil anymore. Oh. Well, let's see what's happening. Worst case, I'm passing at some point here. I mean, I theoretically could pass. Those will trigger, right? Like, those will trigger. There's no harm in passing. He sets up stuff. He needs 17 points. Those will be 9 points alone. Plus the coins, plus the tribute. So he's actually quite a. I think he could do it. But if he could get two cards out of him, like this would be way better. We have to carry over. Those cards don't make too much sense. You know what? Let's bleed him. We have the bleeding from in form of the peaches. We have the bleeding in form of the seductresses. Yeah, this is not how this is work, right? Okay. Yeah. It's like basically four, 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 four points per per charge. is not enough, right? And we equal, and he still lands another card. Nice. Why didn't he use the last charge? I mean, now it looks pretty good for us, right? Two cards up, so. Yeah, thank you very much.